Hello everybody and welcome back to Shadows of New York. I think we decided we were going to do this one to get a drink out of the guy, right? Yes. Yeah, right. Because we did not want to deal with the other lady. Yeah. The free weirdo. I'm sure there are better ways of finding solitude than wandering aimlessly in the endless downpour. There are nights that I, when I dive straight into a fizzed crowd and vicariously enjoy their sweat, their hypnotic moves, their mindless self-indulgence. When my body starts to resonate with the re relentless wall of sound, everyone disappears and I'm raptured into a perfect kind of isolation. Then there are those nights when I crash on the couch while Dakota goes on a rant about something so far removed from my area of interest, I zone out and enjoy the privacy of my own thoughts. <laughs> but then there are moments like this one. That's when I just want everyone to shut the fuck up so I can think. Those nights I usually end up mindlessly strolling along the rain-swept streets before inevitably ending up at Big Beat Burger. Or at least, that used to be the norm, before this whole mess. Lately, even that kind of solitude seems out of my reach. Especially when I'm being tailed by a poor man's Ethan Hunt on a crash diet. He's been following me for ten minutes, and so far he has managed to bump into an empty newsstand, make enemies of several cab drivers, and even got bitch slapped by a living statue while trying to blend in. <laughs> As he shortens the distance, I grab a nearby lamppost and swing myself around like Gene Kelly, using the momentum to quickly turn around and look right at him. Oh hell nah. He springs up into the nearest alley. I wonder if he thinks that somehow I did not notice. Oh, hang around in silence. A minute of silence. He must have given up. I'm about to walk away when an obnoxious voice, not belonging to the creep, catches my ear. It's coming from the same alley. It's followed by a loud crash from sounds like metal sides of the garbage dumpster, followed by a painful moan. Maybe the stalker got himself in trouble? Ah, uh, check it out. I should let that creep deal with this himself. I should, but I won't. Can't have a moment's rest in this goddamn city, can I? As I barge into the alley, I notice two hooded jocks bullying my scrawny stalker. While the big guy wrestles with the high-tech smartphone, the sleeker one keeps punching. How nice of them to share responsibilities. Fuck them up. Turn them against each other. I say turn them against each other. That's, that's gotta be funny. Yeah, alright. The roughnecks notice me, drops the phone, and looks into my eyes. Big mistake. He freezes in place as I bore into his mind. Grab the little guy and keep running east as far as you can. The thug stiffens like it's the first time a complex idea has ever popped into his head. He turns towards his mortified buddy, grabs him kicking and screaming, and takes off like a cartoon caveman with a kidnapped bride slung over his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> the struggle seems so I knew it. <laughs> the struggle seems so comically out of place in this dingy alley, I can't help but chuckle. I pick up the peculiar smartphone on my way over to the stalker. It doesn't take a genius to figure out it belongs to him. The screen is locked and glitches oddly as soon as I touch it. No surprises there. The stalker seems relieved, but at the same time, unnerved by the fact that I'm holding his property. He tries to exhibit some confidence, but his trembling voice undermines his effort. Uh, listen, I don't want to sound ungrateful or anything, but I'd, I'd like that back. It's not like you can use it anyway, right? Oh! The nervous smirk on his already punchable face kind of makes me wish that I'd left him on his own devices. I'm a two minds about handling, handing over something I could use to gain leverage over the sleazy ass who has been stalking me for... God knows how long? I'll tease him a little. What, this little thing right here? Uh, yes, that little thing. I gave it back. Are you sure you want it back? It looks so tasteless and... dorky. Overwhelmingly dorky. Wearing a Star Trek t-shirt to an opera dorky. Like, Elon Musk probably thinks this is chic and cool dorky. I ain't joking. <laughs> Did you see that? I almost dropped it right into the storm drain. Shit, that was close. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. The boss will disembowel me on the spot if something happens to that phone. Say the magic word. Jesus fucking... Yeah, okay, please. Please can I have it back. The second he tries something, it goes back into my hands and under my heel. There you go. He catches the phone with the liveliness of a little boy getting his first video game console. Thanks, Jules. I really appreciate that. Hey, wait! I think I remember this dude! Doesn't he work for the, the Nosferatu info broker guy? I believe so. Eh. 
He knows my name and makes a point of bragging about it. Not particularly subtle. Why the fuck are you following me? Are you with Camarilla? Did somebody just tell you to watch my steps? He looks confused when I mention the sex name. I realize that the fact that it was probably a really stupid thing to say to a random creep. Not sure what a caramella is. Sounds tasty. My boss, he's, imp he's an important guy. You want to be on his good side, let me tell you. That said, he doesn't tell me anything I don't need to know. And all I know is he wanted me to keep an eye on you tonight. Something something, you're being watched. Something something, powerful friends. That's the best you've got? You're not getting anything else from me. If you want to finish with those alley rats started, go ahead. But you'll be wasting your time, Jules. The loser seems to brace for a hit, contorting his face into a confusing grimace, which was probably meant to express bravado. I'm not going to give him the satisfaction. Fair enough, but call me Jules again, and this time, when you lose your phone, you'll need a proctologist to help you find it. Kinky, ain't ya? I'll see you later. You won't if you know it's good for you. He doesn't respond. As he limps away, I realize that the rain is slowly lining up, and that once more, I'm left with more questions than answers. C'est le refrain de ma vie. I decide to get on with my night and focus on the relief that comes with realizing I'm not the voyeuristic object of some creep's interest. Been there, done that. Wouldn't recommend. Time to get a move on. It's time to get back to work. One second, I gotta blow my nose. Would you mind reading? No. Well, I step inside the subway and head for my meeting with Kadir. Yeah, for fuck's sake, I thought you were kidding. Oh, nope, I couldn't reach her. But I know for a fact hope is there. Thank you. He's pointing in the direction of a double spiral building. And what is she doing here? I understand she is the current leader of the company, acting CEO, to be exact. No, 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 you're pulling my leg. Of all the places in this city, the company that brags about creating IT solutions of the future, always surrounded by rumors of monstrous workers' abuse, all sorts of ethical violations, trading information with governments, and ending the career of a certain promising journalist and professional fuck-up who attempted to investigate them seriously. God, fuck. You okay? Yeah, drop off my controller. Ah. So you might be able to ask her both professional and personal questions. Two birds with one stone. I don't get it. Last time I checked, the company belonged to Kara Montgomery. I told she quietly took a sabbatical a few months ago, and it sure looks like the kind of sabbatical you don't come back from. <sighs> Sudden change of heart. <laughs> Sudden change of heart? Kadir rolls his eyes. Well, the clan of kings is not exactly known for having regrets about their ruthless pursuit of power, is it? Mm, clan of kings. Oh, God damn clan it. Venture. Makes sense that it'd be called the clown. The... Oh, is that what this <laughs> is? Oh, okay. It's just, it's just them. Okay. Yeah, I thought there was. I was about to say clown of kings. I was. <laughs> <laughs> the clan of kings. Join now at clanofkings.com. <laughs> All right. I remember I was shocked when I first learned that one of my nemeses back in my old life was a vampire all along. When I realized her position made her untouchable to me, I was beyond mad. Well, whatever happened, it couldn't happen to a nicer person. What about her brother, Jesse? You're asking me? Last I checked, you're the experts on this company. I just handle the basic intel for you. Even though I shouldn't even really be here. Yeah, and I hope you realize I am grateful. Well, you'd better be. So is Hope just another corporate shark? Well, she is the uh, child of Carter. Fuck! Now it makes sense, that Gary Busey looking dude. Yep. The a theatrical pause. He smiles as he sees me wince. <clears throat> but very much unlike him. He took her in for her particular multifaceted talents related to the internet. Knowing he's hopelessly behind the times in that regard, I hear she's been unruly though. Unruly is good. I can work with Unruly. So you're telling me she might, bleh, she might not be a stuck-up startup bitch? Language. As I've told you a few times, 
when it comes to the internet, just assume I haven't the slightest idea. I'm getting there myself. I haven't been able to check my email for five months. I have no idea what the kids at BBB are talking about most of the time. Oh my god, I might be getting old. Don't worry. The moment you realize you don't give a damn about most fads, you would have cared about years ago as a liberating one. Been there, done that. At the beginning of the 20th century. Old. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, you'll probably hear Hope's story straight from the horse's mouth. I don't have much time, so I'll get straight to the point. You shouldn't be looking at anything in the main building. It's just a front. Ignore it. What you want to do is use the elevators to get to the lowest floor of the building. Psh, I heard stories about double spiral basement, but I had no idea what to make of them. Every source told me a different rumor. Did any of them tell you a rumor about an army of underground ghouls? No, but I'm all ears. Double Spiral employs an army of ghouls as a cheap workforce. They work and live underground away from prying eyes, with lesser rights than regular kind employees. Perfect for business. Wow. Yes, I'm Katie? actually speechless for a second. I had profoundly low expectations at that company, but every time I learn something new about what's going on <laughs> behind the scenes, I'm still surprised at the level of scumbaggery at play. I'll leave the moral judgments to you, expert. In any case, you'll need to you need to reach room five number five oh seven, where the CEO supposedly resides. And then get hope to answer your questions. His old timey flip phone vibrates. Speaking of, if you've got any left for me, it's now or never. I'm needed at the art hall now. How should I approach the building? I told you everything I know. Just do what I do all the time. And that is... Scout the situation, then decide. Right, I forgot that's what you do all the time. You mean scouting? No, stating the obvious. The, fent the phone vibrates again. Well, that's it for me. Arturo is pestering me to show up at the Elysium five minutes ago. Tell him I kindly suggest he should go fuck himself. Not in a thousand years. Well, good luck with your mission, soldier. With a mock salute, he disappears inside his car and drives away. Hey, if we can't do technology, can we still drive cars? Or is <laughs> Not cyber trucks. Is it? <laughs> 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 Nothing left for me but to head in. Still, I'm anxious. There are two approaches to choose from, and whichever I pick, I will have to stick with it. If I force my way in and assert my authority, bad cop style, that should make an impression. Bad bitch coming in with an entire court behind her back, bluffing her way to victory. Sneaking in and politely acting, ah, asking for cooperation seems like the less disruptive, more me option. But it's not like being me has taken me anywhere thus far. <sighs> Shit. I kind of wish I was still stuck in my routine where I didn't need to be doing things like developing a personality. It's a bit of a coin flip, honestly, but I gotta make a choice here. How do I approach Double Spiral? So this is an important one. It'll give you a new uh, personality. Being aggressive, aggressive and public never works out for being a vampire. From what I've seen, at least. Everyone loves That's... their fucking their shadow court sneaky bullshit. Yeah, and let's see how good you are at uh, stealth in a visual novel. Ha ha! Eh, being Cheat aggressive up, is not me. Not into a bad cop. <laughs> That's a trade. Not into the bad cop. Yeah, being aggressive is not me. I don't even want to think about the headaches I'd have to deal with. The less disruptive I am, the better the chance they won't get pissed off of me. And I do need hope to be cooperative. This is a good. This good cop approach should pay off eventually. All right, let's do this. I cloak myself in shadows and let my instinct take over. The lobby isn't well lit, so it's not hard to get behind the lone security guard. He does notice something is wrong with the security cameras and hits the display a few times, but once he's done, I'm already inside an emergency staircase and making the descent. The doors to the deepest floor are locked, but it takes just a bit of brute force, and I'm inside. Hello, Double Spiral. Thought you wouldn't see me again, huh? Assholes. 
I look around and find an emergency evacuation map. Bullseye. Looks like all the information I need is here. There it is, room 507. What? Hope? Someone comes. Oh, it's not Hope. Okay, looks like one of Hope's nerdy ghouls is here to sniff around, but I'm already in the shadows. I slink away as she starts patrolling the corridor, checking if everything is okay. <laughs> Cameras, body heat sensors, electronic locks. Still, I'm managing. How do you deal with electronic locks? So they just. They just break, break and you can use yeah. them? Yeah. She breaks when she walks near them and they open. I remain cautious, just like Kadir would want me to, but it's surprisingly easy for me to avoid security. Progressing toward room 507 is far easier than expected. I reach the double spiral offices where, just like Kadir said, hordes of ghouls are slaving away for their company. Deep learning, spyware, social media manipulation, yada yada. The important thing right now is everyone is staring at their own screen, so it's easy for me to keep sneaking. There she is again. Oh, it's her again. Aside from the fact she still seems she still seems to be on my trail. I'm only slowed by the fact that she's thorough in her search. I better pick up the pace. And there it is, the final quarter. Time to announce myself. I slowly walk to the end of the quarter. There no, that's is. what it looks like. I guess. Because it's a cam. Yep. Room that is seven. creepy. The door looks harder to take care of than the other ones in this place. Probably won't be able to take care of it the same way I did the others. The door to the office of the current Double Spiral CEO. This fucking company. I get pissed off, but I'm trying to control it. There's a camera by the door. If she knows what to look for, she can probably see I'm here on the screen. But just to make sure, I knock on the door. Hope, I'm Camarilla Detective, and I will need you to answer some questions. Hope, I know you're in there. Open the door. I will not leave until you do. I'm here on the behalf of the Sheriff of New York City. Hope? I keep pounding on the door and calling her name. After a minute or so, a voice rings out on the intercom. I don't remember. You... Who was Hope? Was it you I, or me? I think I was, but you can be here if you want. Sure, why not? Okay. Is this thing on? I guess it is. Alright, I got your message loud and clear. I'll meet you in the offices. I'll be right there. It looks like you made it past Nastia. Nastia? Nastia. Nastia. <laughs> Get back to the offices and keep her company. She's probably beyond pissed off about you looting her grass, but don't make it a big deal, okay? Thank you for your cooperation. I'll be right there. Yep, there she yeah, is. Yeah, there she is. What's up? You know what she kind of reminds me of? <clears throat> she reminds me of that mannequin from that, that creepy YouTube video where like, oh, I built that dude. Hey, no, I do hey, not. Hey. Ah. Fuck. On the one hand, clothes you could reasonably expect to find in any CEO's wardrobe. On the other, a body covered in tattoos, flashy jewelry, dyed hair, and wild makeup. The thought that she might be yet another CEO ha. playing the nonconformist crosses my mind, but she strikes me as someone who's a little more man. happy to live in her own little bubble. Still, I won't be fooled. She is the boss of Double Spiral. So, uh, how did you find me? Sheriff Kadir al my did. You'd have to ask him. I take out a new cigarette without thinking. You can't smoke in here, lady. Just let her. Don't treat me like I'm your enemy. I come in peace. A deep, relaxing drug. So, when did you realize I was here? Right at the start. There was a momentary laser malfunction. Lasted a second or two. Hasn't tripped an alarm, but I guess something was off. That's it? Hunches have gotten me every job I've ever had. Hunches saved my life any time I got into a messy situation. These days, the reality is too complicated to rely on anything else. Can't find a better head of security than Arnastia. Her hunches are the main reason why. They're like a sixth sense. A corporate rebel, huh? Wouldn't take you for a brutal enforcer. I mean, duh, that's the idea. You wouldn't want an unexpected threat. Oh, you'd want to be an unexpected... I mean, the whole rebel aesthetic versus the whole bloodthirsty corporate dog thing. Is that meant to be a disguise? Nah, I've always been into inter alternative shit and hating the system. I've been dreamt like this for a while, long before I got a taste of hope. No moral confusion about it? Hey, wait, I just realized our, our eyes are yellow now, but they were glowing blue before. 
Huh. Huh. I didn't notice that. Ah, well that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Adios.